Welcome to fourth grade math. Lesson 164. On Thursday, we're looking at pages 295 and 296. It is just a review page, um, and so we're going to be, um, I'll let you know what you're doing on this, and, and so we're gonna be doing a little bit of review on the board. A couple things that we wanna make sure that you guys are up up with and remember and understand. So um, there's also a speed drill um, as normally have a speed drill. So there's three and a half minutes for that speed drill. So we'll do a little bit of review um, and then I will let you take your speed drill and then um, we'll look at your page, okay? So let me grab that. All right, let's start with some flashcards. 10 times 8, 80. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 10, 50. 12 times 6, 72. 7 times 4, 28. 6 times 11, 66. 7 times 6, 42. 12 times 3, 36. We're back to the beginning, 80. All right. Um, I'm going to show you a figure, and you're going to tell me what it is. What is this? A point. Very good. What about this one? Array, good. Line segment, line, okay, line extends, line segment is part, segment it means part. Angle, parallel lines, intersecting lines, congruent angles, okay, they are about the, they're identical pretty much. A right angle. Perpendicular lines, right? It forms four right angles. Simple closed figure. And a polygon, all right? All right, we're back at the beginning. Okay, go ahead and pause and go take your speed drill. Do your best and we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, I hope you did well with your speed drill. We are going to take a look at um, some a rectangle, okay? And when they we looked at this when they give um, let's see, yeah, we've looked at this where they give you the feet by feet. Um, one way to remember this is that width always comes first when we're doing it this way. Width comes first, and then the length. You can also look at the two and it's a rectangle and the longer one's gonna be your length, okay? So that's one way to check that, all right? So what is our formula for perimeter of a rectangle? B equals two times L plus two times W, okay? And just, we'll just get our formula written for the area. What's our area formula? Length times width. All right. Um, yeah. So two times length, which is two and two thirds, plus two times three fourths. Okay. All right, we have to change this into an improper fraction, right, in order to multiply, we have to put two over one. So two over one times six, eight over three, okay? Eight over three. Um, and then we just put two over one times three over four is what we would need for that one. Okay? So here we can't cancel anything. So two times six, I mean, two times eight is 16. Put it over three. Okay? We're going to add it. So over here we can cancel, right? We're going to have a one here and a two on the bottom because. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 
So then we're gonna have three over two, all right? So we can't add these because they don't have the same denominator, but we can um, simplify them first and then we'll see where we can go from there. All right, so three goes into 16 five times. And then how many would be left over? One, so one third plus two goes into three one time and one's left over one half, okay? So we need to add five and a third and one and a half. So I'm just gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna write it like we would have our addition fractions, right? Okay, five and one third over one and a half, or plus one and a half. We need to get the same denominator. So three and two, what's a common denominator? What would we, what can they both go into, the lowest number? Well, in this case, we can multiply them together and get six. Two times three is six. One times three is three. Three times two is six. One times two is two, okay? Two plus three is five over six. One, I mean, one plus five is six. So six and five six is, we have to say feet, right? Is the perimeter, six and five six feet. Okay, so that's how to figure those out with the fractions. Now, area, and I'm gonna erase that part so it's not in the way. I make it really small, okay. A equals length times width, okay? So length is two and two thirds times three fourths, right? So we only have to change two and two thirds, but what was it over here? Eight over three times three fourths. Now this time there is some canceling we can do, all right? So three and three, we know we can divide them both by three and get one, right? Okay, there went my marker again. Okay, eight and four, four can go into both of them, right? So four divided by four is one, eight divided by four is what? Two. The only number we have left is a two. So, the area of this rectangle is two square feet. We can't forget to put square, right? And we have to label it feet. Okay, so that's how, um, that's a, Another area, one that we've done, okay? So up here we have one of our equations. So we wanna make sure that you understand how to do the equation. So we have x plus four equals nine times five. So x plus four we have to leave by itself for now. Nine times five is what? 45, good job, okay? So now x plus four, how do we get it off of this side? We have to subtract it, right? We just subtract four, not six. Sorry about that. <laughs> 45 minus four. So we have X on this side. 45 minus four is what? 41, okay? So X equals 41. Let's see if that, if we can plug it in and we get the same answer. 41 plus four equals nine times five. 41 plus four is 45 equals, nine times five is 45. They're equal, right? So check, but your answer is X equals 41, guys, okay? So make sure that you know that, that this is the answer, not this. This is the answer, not this, okay? Help you guys out there. All right, so let's take a look and see what we're doing on our page. Okay, so find the area of the polygons. Um, so these ones are just asking for the area um, and 
Section two is just asking for perimeter. So you use the formulas. Um, the square, what was the formula for a, uh, the area of a square? A equals side times side. Very good. Okay, so side times side or side squared um, for the square. Uh, what about the perimeter of a square? Four times side, okay, because there's four equal sides, so we just multiply four by the amount of, them, of our side, okay? So make sure to use those formulas. I'm gonna have it, I am gonna go ahead and have you do all six of these. They're gonna be, um, they shouldn't be too difficult, so just plug in your numbers. Make sure for the first three you do area, for the next three you do perimeter, and follow those instructions. Section three, <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to have you do all of the first page. Three is just a matching, four is also matching, and five is a solve and check. Make sure you do the check, okay? Um, that everything is written out for me. Um, in, on the back, with the solve the measurements, um, you may pick one of them to do. Um, and then divide and check, you may also pick one. Make sure you do the check. For the story problems, I'll let you pick one of these. I'll let you just do one, and then you're gonna be doing all the homework, okay? Um, sections nine and 10. So that will, um, so that's a review on your Roman numerals on how to write that. So try to make sure that um, you know that. Let's go over those really fast. Before I let you go, let's just go over these. So L is 50, VII, seven, five, four, two, one. What's M? A thousand, nine, 10, D, 500, 100, six, three and eight, okay? So um, keep that in mind. Remember your rules that you cannot have more than three of the same letter in a row um, and that you cannot, um, with subtraction, you cannot subtract from 10 from the X. You can't subtract from 100. And you can't subtract from 1,000. Yeah, yep. So 10, 100, and 1,000 you can't subtract from because we have uh, 5, 50, and 500. So we don't subtract from those, okay? All right, so just do your best on that and see which, what you can get done with that. If you get stuck on those, um, you can come back to the video and look at the, the cards that I flipped um, to remember how to do that. Okay. All right. Do your best and we'll see you in the next lesson.